Right? I heard he won the Nobel Peace Prize. Oh, oh God, oh, please God. stop. <laughs> no problem. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, I love you. Hey, guys, this is my Lando. Welcome to Life is Strange Through Colors. This is definitely one of my most anticipated games in uh, this year, 2021. Oh my god. Uh, it's, it's, it's past midnight, past my bedtime, but I really want to play this. So here we go. So I might be a bit sleepy. Not. Maybe. But man. So, Alex, the day's finally here. You've been at the Helping Hands group home for eight years. We've been through a lot in that time. We have. And now you're finally leaving to live with your brother. My brother Gabe. It says here he lives in Haven Springs, Colorado. Is that correct? That's a big move. Do you have any plans as far as school or a job? My brother said I might pick up a few shifts at the bar he works at. So you'd be dealing with people? Maybe. Does your brother know about your... issues? Is that an official interview question, Dr. Lin? Alex, you know that I care about you. With everything that has happened, I just want what's best for you. He doesn't know. No one will once I leave this place. I'll just be a normal girl in a normal town. So I've been avoiding all spoilers. I have not. I've I've only seen part of the trailer. Um, I know Steph is in this, and that is why I'm extremely excited to play. But um, apart from that, I avoided them like the plague. I I know that there's like um like a 15 minutes gameplay intro kind of thing that was out. I saw the title and I'm like, I refuse to click into it because I don't want to spoil it for myself. I just really enjoy going into games completely blind. That's, uh, that's my thing. And I'm extremely excited about this as well because... Gabe just, said to meet him at the bridge. I can't wait to see him. Because of Alex. Alex is, is, wait, this looks familiar. Have I been here? Is, is this the same town as... Gabe told me to meet him at the bridge. Yeah, I'm leaving. Gabe told me to meet him at the bridge. I want to pick up trash. Yeah. Uh, Asian protagonist. That's... 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 Uh, it makes me really excited. Can I walk freaking faster, though? Holy crap. Like a run button? I mean, I don't like to run as well. I get it. But still, this is a little bit... I guess it's time to take in the scenery, how beautiful it is. And cutscene, yes. I don't have to walk. Is this the same area where... Um... I forgot their name. Sean and Daniel lived. Is it? Is it in the same place? Because that bus stop seems familiar. Oh, hey, dear. Hi. Wait, no. Is that a moose? Moo? No, that's not. Deers. That's a lot of deer. Oh, oh, sorry. I can leave. <laughs> Alex. I'm gonna stand here and stare at this for like 10 hours. I'm sorry, guys. Holy shit. That's really him. <laughs> oh, 
What's the protocol for reuniting with your long lost sister after eight years? Hug. Hug? Oh, I can. So yeah, I, I did a little bit of um um uh setting change the settings to make them prolong the I'm cool with wow. the hug if you are. This action will have consequences, <laughs> really? Oh, is crushing my ribs still part of the protocol? <laughs> It's just so good to see you again. I can't believe you're here. Me believe too. it. <sighs> Apparently I have issues, but I don't know what they are. She's all grown up. And I missed it. And if I can freaking hear people's thoughts? I'm a lot taller, huh? Yeah, yeah. Time will do that to you. Are you ready to see the town? Yeah, let's do it. I mean, I know, I know this is about. Oh yeah, let's rock and roll. I don't, I don't know why I said that. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> but I love the enthusiasm. Okay, the uh, Black Lantern is just up the street. I mentioned I live above a bar, right? Even better. How was the trip? You must be wiped. I'm good. The drive through the mountains was amazing. Eleanor, hey, Alex just got here. Alex, meet Eleanor Laith, owner of the flower shop, and honest to God, royalty of Haven Springs. Oh, it is so nice to finally meet you. She doesn't like hugs. Welcome. Oh. Get off her. I mean, get we her off so me. We're so glad to have you, Alex. Gabe told us all about you. I'm glad to be here. She seems nice. <laughs> yeah, she's great. A little quick on the draw with hugs, though. Yeah, no shit. Welcome to Haven. Yay, where it's people and deer. Mostly deer. More deer than people. And animals. Am I supposed to click and skip, or...? Or is this actually the end? The Silver Dragon! <gasps> Wait, is that the D&D shop? Because I know there's D&D in this. There has to be. Steph's in here. It's nice. Come on. Is this the first official stop on the tour? Absolutely. If you follow me inside, you'll find a prize exhibit. Gabe Chen buys makeup flowers for angry girlfriend. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. It's gotten so, so oh. reviews. <laughs> Blasting notice. Something's happening. Hey, Gabe. Riley, meet my sister, Alex. What's your greatest weakness? Uh, what? what? It's for a college interview. We've been debating this one for days. Gabe insists that I give an honest answer. It's always better to give an honest answer. And what's the alternative? Lying? Not lying, more like strategic half-truthing. Like, I work too hard, or I save too many puppies. They could smell that bullshit a mile away. Exactly. I've been trying to warn her. Exactly. Oh, yeah? What would you do? Be honest or be, be clever. Um, I don't agree with the I work too hard bullshit because everybody knows it's bullshit, so be honest. I would be honest. It's usually harder, but then you come <laughs> off as more authentic. I Called agree. it. Wow. You two are already wonder twinning your way through town. Seems that way. <laughs> Alex, help me out real quick. No. What do I get for Charlotte? Sunflowers are her favorite, but I read online that Lily of the Valley is great for saying sorry. What do you think? Get her favorite. What are you talking about? I mean, I do like lilies just because of all the Yuri. But I do want to know what you did. And as I was saying before, I went to the settings to extend my choice, like the time I get for choosing stuff, because I enjoy taking my time. And I'm really glad they had this option, which I'm very grateful for. So now I can talk over it and stare at these lilies. Um, 
I want to know what you did, though. What uh, exactly are you apologizing for? <laughs> this time around? Maybe the toilet seat? <laughs> All right. I would say go for something that she likes. If Charlotte loves sunflowers, go with the sunflowers. Exactly. That's what I was thinking. I doubt it. <laughs> you know, if Mac brought me flowers half as often, well, he wouldn't be Mac. Is it still on and off with you two? Sort of. More on right now, but wait five minutes and ask again. <laughs> Put this on my tab? Yeah. Are you sure you don't want to just tell Mac about the interview? No, not yet. I'll handle it. Okay, your call. Beat her. Beat her. leave when you're ready. Sounds good. Beat her sign. That was like, that was like a Might as well have a look around before we oh, leave. Oh, cool. So yeah, I also, I also made like the text really large because I'm, uh, I'm old. Eyes. I like big words. And um, I also know that this game is about empathy. And <laughs> look at this chair. And um, does anyone actually sit in the decorative store chair? And somehow Alex has the power to see people's emotions. I didn't know she could read thoughts, though. That's that that was a little bit surprising. Look at her. Hopefully, my advice doesn't derail her entire life. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, I just. Oh, I could read her. What if I don't get in? Shit. What if I do get in? Am I really ready to leave this place? If Riley's so anxious about leaving this town, I guess it can't be too bad. Wait, what? I, I totally missed that. Let's do it again. What if I don't get in? Shit. What if I do get in? Am I really ready to leave this place? Oh, that was Riley. She's, oh shit, that's sorry. Shouldn't be swearing that much. Once I'm done looking around, we can head out. Yeah, never. Aw, I wonder who they are. Old people. Cute, right? Yes. Yeah. Are those your grandparents? No, but they were like family. Alistair and Ava Murphy. Nana bought the building from them before I was born. Cool. Cool story, bro. All right. Um, employees only. That's very employer employee only. I can't go anywhere. Um, Lily up the valley. I hope Charlotte likes the sunflowers. I hope she does too. Can I read the emotion of flowers? I mean, flowers are people too, right? Birdhouse. The Sus. tiny house movement is really taking off. <laughs> you have no idea. Come live here. Come to Hong Kong. This gnome has been places. Sunglasses. Are you gonna put sunglasses on it? I don't like gnomes. Garden gnomes. They scare me. Perfect. <clears throat> this one is much better now. That guy's bad to the gnome. Right? I heard he won the Nobel Peace Prize. Oh, oh god, oh, please god. stop. <laughs> no problem. Oh my god! Oh my god, I love you! <laughs> Alex, you're my favorite character now. Until Steph appears. But you're still cool. I like you. You're 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 fantastic. How to kill everything you touch. A flower book by Alex Chen. Perfect flower bed. Read it. Oh. Oh. Sorry, it's just, it's just making the magic garden real. The perfect flower bed, unlocking the flavors of the earth. Right, it's great. Mandatory for any enchanted garden. Berries or Tinkerbells. All right, I think we're good. I think we've looked at everything. I think we read her thoughts. We, everything private is no longer private. I think we can go now. Oh, no, my watering can. You can make anything pretty if you shove a bouquet inside. Oh, no category for estranged brother you haven't seen in eight years because you were ripped apart by the foster care system. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, that's what happened to them. Okay. 
I mean, this is why I snoop around, cause I need to know what happened to. Pe Wait, do I do I talk to my bro or do I just walk out the door and just pretend that's normal? I Hopefully, my advice doesn't okay. derail her entire life. All right, I I'm sure it's fine. I can't run, but I can walk. So let's slowly walk out the door and grab the bag. Ready. Thanks. See you soon, Rai. Those are some really stiff flowers. Oh, what happened? Is that a save button? Can I read, like, random people's thoughts? Will I overload? How long have you and Charlotte been dating? Mm, about three years now, I think. You must spend a lot of money on bouquets. She's worth it. Your feet. Yep. I'm not a flower person Watch much, I don't now. think. It's getting windy. I mean, my feet are fine. Buy me, buy me some Pokemon cards. You I'd be happier than, than receiving work. flowers. They cost the same, feet. I think. Hey, don't get. Like, buy me like an elite trainer box, and I'll forgive you. These are really nice. Thanks. I hand wove every wreath myself. That's pretty nice. Wow. You should start a business. It's not about the money, Alex. Well, here we are. What is this warning? No. Wow. Good to know. Uh, typhoon mining. Blasting notice. Automated blasting to take place. Warning. Sirens will sound prior to detonation in areas within blast radius. Do not enter blast radius. Blast area. This... Oh my god. Are we going to make a decision someday to, like, you know, go in and do something heroic? I don't know. Wow. Into the blast area. Just wow. <laughs> Go to yoga classes. Center your body. Free your mind, and do it all with tiny little goat feet on your back. What? Join us for a relaxing yoga session on our farm. Namaste. Like, are they gonna put goats? Uh, what the shit is goat yoga? Yes. Yoga with goats. Welcome to Colorado. Uh. uh okay. Wait, can I? Oh, I can look at him. Oh my god, let's read his thoughts. Step one, patch things up with Charlotte. And step two, Alex and Charlotte become best friends and everyone's happy forever. Gabe's pretty nervous about making sure I'll like it here. It's sweet. It is sweet. I bet Gabe keeps the flower shop in business all by himself. All right, I'm going to check this newspaper stand before I talk to him. What did you think of the show? Local beekeeper breaks state record for total number of bees. Stop the presses. Hey, don't hate. How many bees do you have? Uh, last time I checked, like zero bees. I want to eavesdrop. That one was so good, but live is a whole nother thing, you know? Totally. Can't beat their thoughts. What are you doing tomorrow? Um, not much. I think I'll meet with Katie and chill. You? <laughs> yeah, don't know yet. I was, um... I was wondering if you wanted to grab dinner tomorrow, maybe? Oh, totes. I'll text Katie and Mark and see if they're down. Oh, yeah, totally. But would you want to maybe go just the two of us? Oh. Like... Like a date. Yeah. Can I think about it? Yeah. Of course. Just let let me know. Oh. Okay. I hope you succeed. I mean, if the girl's into you, you know. Um. Next stop on the tour: delivering flowers. Oh, I can't walk past there. Okay. Let's uh, talk. Gabe Chen, flower delivery man. I know, right? Let me duck in here and smooth everything out. It'll only be a minute. I'll introduce you properly later. Once, you know. It's no problem, really. <sighs> I mean, if you have to apologize to her all the time with flowers. It's gonna be longer than a minute. Trust me. Oh, hi there. Gabe's your brother, right? I'm Ethan. Charlotte's my mom. Hi, Ethan. I'm Alex. Hey. What you reading? 
Ninth Warden. Oh, has she found the Scepter of Serenity yet? Oh. <gasps> She's looking for the Scepter, but I think she'll need the Bangle of Vanishing to get to it. Vanishing, my kind of power. I prefer... You know, I think I... Do I want to roleplay her or do I want to play as myself? Because if I play as her, I feel like vanishing is my kind of power. But I personally, I like fire. I like, I like... Chandra! Come on, Chandra! I, I... Yeah, it's burn everything. I'd rather shoot fire from my hand. Burn all my enemies to a crisp. What if you're high-fiving a friend and the fire ring goes off? Risky. <laughs> if you like comics, I can show you the one I'm making. Oh, that is so cool. Yes. I'd love to see it. Wait, you just have it with you? I mean, of course you do. You can keep it if you want. I made a bunch of copies to sell in the record store. Oh, crap. This, this is, is pretty awesome, good. Ethan. I can't wait to read it. Are you going camping? You know the mines? I know they exist. There are a bunch of old tunnels all around the mountains. I think I found a way into one. Kind of I mean, dangerous, man. I'm not an expert on old mines, but that would scare the crap out of me. I just like to explore sometimes. It's no big deal. Oh man. I shouldn't have told you that. Dude, 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 have you heard of this the story called Vanishing of Ethan Carter? Maybe you should avoid the mines. I'm just, you know. No, it's cool. I mean, promise you'll be careful. I know we just met, but be careful out there, okay? You don't need to worry. Really. I'm sorry I'm being such a mom, but I can't help it. It's I age. think I'll check out that record store. Nice meeting you, Ethan. It's old age, man. Once you get to my age, you become like a wet blanket to everybody. <laughs> Can't have fun. No. Explore the mines? No. Never. Oh, wow. This place reminds me of the shop Gabe and I used to go to. <laughs> He'd save up for weeks from his shitty car wash job just to buy us something to listen to. It's crazy. Here I am, years later, still waiting for my big brother in the record store. Except this time, <gasps> Kitty. I'm buying the record. No way. Oh, <gasps> Steph! Sorry, I'm really excited. Zombie parade or unicorn sandwich? I'm getting a freaking unicorn sandwich. <laughs> She's not into that, huh? Hey, I like unicorns. Citizens of Haven Springs, that was the Wednesday with Bomb Squad. Up next, a very special request from some chick. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> is she gonna be my new Rachel? Probably. Steph is better than Rachel. Sorry, the store's actually closed right now. Which is confusing because it's obviously open. Wait. Are you Alex? That's me. Wow. Gabe's been talking about you coming since... forever. I'm Ryan. 
Hi, Ryan. Nice to meet you. So, all the way from Portland, huh? What do you think of Haven? Lots of deer. I think it's cool so far. Maybe the weather is kind of cold. I don't know. Everybody's like wearing a lot. I've seen some cool things so far. Like, this record store is that amazing. Cat. I didn't expect anything like this here. Yep. It's our cultural landmark for sure. So, the store is closed, but they opened it just for you? You must be picking up something pretty important. He probably owns this place. Yeah, well, you could say that. An outdoorsman's guide to the calls of common birds. Wow, that's... Different. Not what I was expecting at all. It's a pretty obscure record. <laughs> the National Park Service gave it five stars. <laughs> So, you're a... Colorado State Park Ranger. It's all coming into focus. Well, bummer the store's closed. I was thinking of getting a gift for Gabe, but I'll figure something else out. I don't even know if he still listens to records. He does. Charlotte just got him a record player for his birthday. I'm pretty sure he put something on hold. Oh, hold, did he put it in the cabinet, really? So you don't work here? Steph just... won't mind. It'll be the easiest sale she's ever made. If I could just find the whole list. Wait, Steph owns this place? <laughs> no. I thought she just works here. Damn. I know I saw it before. Want to help me look? Not really. Oh, yeah. Any ideas on where to start? Well, I guess I have no choice, huh? All right. No idea. Steph leaves stuff all over the place. Shift to move her fla flaster. Faster. Nice. Now, of course, we're going to start from this corner. Shall we go clockwise or anti-clockwise? You're not the boss of me, poster. Call your councilmen. Tell them to vote no on local ballot measure 39. Which is that? Private mining interests will put their bottom lines before your family's health. Keep your mountains standing tall. Uh, current mine site. Proposed future mining sites. You guys are digging a lot of holes. Um, plant. Apparently, plants can feel pain. But can they cry saying all of melancholy and the infinite sadness in bed? I don't think so. <laughs> oh, I can read people's thoughts. I forgot about that. Yes. Why do I keep forgetting about that? Now there's a radio contest I might actually be able to win. Blast from the past giveaway. Play name. Uh, play name the tune on 10 oldies to win a flat screen TV. I can't do that. Typhon. Typhon sounds, I don't know. It sounds like a Pokemon. Um, what is this? Listening station? I could spend hours sitting here. If I click this. Maybe I will. Well, copyright music come up. I mean, I did turn on the scream option. Maybe no music come on. Like, nothing. Maybe there's nothing at all. There is nothing at all. <laughs> they, are you kidding me? They didn't even bother to put in some random music. <laughs> I mean, they should, they should at least have, like... I don't know. <laughs> Proxy music? Just just music and without songs? It's like, I don't know. Not complaining. I mean, this is my this is my choice to click that button. Bulletin board. How very small town. Family portraits and other commission art. Charlotte Hart. Is that is that their Charlotte? She's an artist? called Gunther Gutter. Okay. Cool. Staff picks. Okay, Steph. Let's see what you're into. Let's see what she's into. I'm detecting an indie pattern. Like unicorns? Okay. A uh, seriously obscure indie pattern. Adam <laughs> and Steve. 
Oh, aliens. Area 51. Color me impressed. Aye. Yeah, well. Hey, and uh, can I actually read your thoughts? I can't. That's a shame. Ninth Warden, hero of the Intergalactic Peace Wars, and friend to lonely children everywhere. All right. The whole, oh, action figures. A action, action, come on. This place has just the right amount of dorkiness. Mm -hmm. I love it. Gabe's record is in here, but which one is it? Can, I, can, you, can, you, can you can you can you go in? Gabe's record is in here, but which one is it? Okay, I'm not going inside yet. I'm just wanna, you know, make my rounds here. Cat, pet it, pet the cat. Wait, is that the hold list? Pet the kitty. Scare. Look, look at it. Look. You couldn't have curled up. I don't know. Literally anywhere else no that's what that's what cats do um scare or move nothing we do nothing yet because we're gonna check out everything else first before we move the kitte emergency guitar in case of sweet jam sesh break glass <laughs> chores are an excellent way to learn personal responsibility alex <laughs> thanks read what does it say what is that Ooh, sorry uh, mop. Uh, well, a sweet prank on Diane. Okay. Is she tired? That's a lot of dancing. I love that this town has their own radio station. <laughs> He's gonna stare at her. <laughs> She's having the time of her life. Wonderful. Huh. Colorado digs its alt rock, I see. Can I can I read her thoughts? Uh okay, we have to move to Kitty. That's it. Okay. We're walking at oh books. I did a report on Jane Eyre once in high school. I'd love to actually read the book one day. Cat ball. Valkyrie. That's one badass cat name. That is a beautiful cat name. Move. Oh my god. Is there like another option? Like, lure? Meow. Don't freak out. I'm just gonna... Okay, just kidding. <laughs> I'm surprised you got out of there with both your hands. Um... Thing is, she's sitting on the hold list. We could use her toy to lure her away. If we can find it. Give me a hand. Ah, uh, where is it? Look at him. Looks like Ryan might need some help finding that toy. Read his thoughts, cat. Okay, uh, help. Any luck finding that cat toy? Not yet. So, what's the prediction? What do you think Gabe listens to these days? Oh my god. Um... A capel, I don't freaking know. I think Gabe's gotten so emo that he doesn't like instruments anymore. Just dudes screaming and crying into the microphone. Dear God, let's hope not. <laughs> well, there's only one way to find out. Let's see if we can find that cat toy. Um, metal box? Wait, look. Surprisingly not covered in stickers. Looks like a toy could live here. What if he exclusively listens to Smash Mouth? Wait for it. Cover bands. Ugh. I disown him. <laughs> Damn. Cash. A good place for toy safekeeping. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna check you out the cash. You could check the register. Okay, but what if it's three unbroken hours of improvisational jazz flute? That he listens to while writing scathing film reviews. Yeah, and sipping a $50 Americano. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Alas, no toy. Um, 
Shelves are meant for holding things, right? What about the top shelf? What if it's the original Broadway cast recording of Cats? Wonderful. <laughs> At least that'd be ironic. No toy to be seen. I mean, I love cats. Come on. Please have the toy. The suspense is killing me. Maybe that drawer? It could be Celine Dion's greatest hits. You mean the essential Celine Dion? <laughs> she is a Canadian treasure. Mm, nothing. Really? Is it going to make me look into everything? Prime cat toy real estate. Maybe in the junk box. Yes, throw a Rubik's Cube at it. I'm pretty sure it would solve it immediately. Oh. And we have a winner. Good guess. <laughs> Be safe out there. And the cat's already gone. If I gone. die a horrible cat-related death, tell Gabe I'm sorry. Wow, pet the pussy cat. Lure, yes. It's a freaking moose, really. <laughs> Who's the superior mammal now? Be careful of your eyes. I just learned that cats are very dangerous. All right. <laughs> Good idea. Thanks. For a guy who lives in the woods, I'm pretty good at this customer service thing. <laughs> Meanwhile, Steph continues to dance. All right, let's see. Ape Shen, King of Leon. Tiny blue dots? Bots? Okay. Uh... Oh, he picked that up. So he needs Kings of Leon right now. Okay, got it. Should have known. Tap phone. That's what you Wait. get for like giving me Seriously? like a random tab. Gabe and I used to listen to records together all the time. We'd forget about the world and rock out for hours. You gotta tell me what Gabe was like as a kid. Any ammunition you can give me? <laughs> no. No. He's a badass. Actually, he was a pretty badass older brother. He smoked cigarettes, really? which at the time I thought was awesome. That was bad. And he somehow managed to get his first tattoo when he was 12. Damn. The legend only grows. <laughs> All right. You're looking at 20 even. No, no way. I can't believe you're doing this no. again. Come on. Do you have any idea how much time I've put into this? You just... <gasps> no, dude, I can't come over there. I'm working. Oh, oh she takes her anger. I mean, like, she, like, the empathy is real. It's called a job. Maybe you'd understand if you ever had- I can watch the boost if you gotta get out of here. Hey, hold, hold on a sec. Are you serious? Well, you have a playlist, right? I think I can handle that. You're a lifesaver. Oh, no bird calls though. I'll be there, one sec. <sighs> Organizing a LARP shouldn't be this hard. Oh. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, better, better. Do I want to be... Okay. Do I want to be honest with this guy? Do I know him? Yeah, I'm good. <sighs> I'm great, thanks. Just... Did she say organizing a LARP? <laughs> yep. Beyond DJing, Steph's also queen of the Haven nerds. Oh my god, I love Sounds it. Sounds like there's some unrest in the kingdom. Somehow, I knew I'd find you in here. Things went well with Charlotte? Thanks to your help. I can't wait for you guys to meet. I think you'll be great friends. Speaking of, my two favorite people in my favorite place. What have you guys been up to? Um, talking about birds? 
Checking out the place? Checking out the place. Just looking around. This place is pretty sweet. Every time I'm in here, it reminds me of you. I'm not surprised you like it. Anyway, I'm glad you two met. Not only is this dude my best friend, he's the best guide to Haven you could ever find. And this dude hands me the best beers? <laughs> hey, by the way, Mac was in here earlier, and uh, he really wants to talk to you. He knows where to find me. Anyway, my shift starts in 20. Ready to go? Take along? I'll catch up. I got a radio show to host. All right. Thank you for that. Hide my gift. All right. There's a save point right there. And, um... All right. I'm going to end it here today. And, um... So that little jump when Alex was handing in the clipboard is where I open up my phone to read some texts. And uh, because it felt like very awkward to start reading there, I'm going to put that section at the back right here. So stay tuned if you actually want to see, uh, well, basically check out her messages and her journal and all that stuff, which I think is pretty interesting. It adds to the story, so I highly recommend it. But anyway, that is all I have for today. This is the first hour of uh life is strange true colors i'm liking it so far i'm glad i get to see steph uh but yeah stay tuned for more thank you all for watching and i will see you guys next time bye tap phone what does this do do i, do I have to go all the way down which one is first uh huge thanks to everyone who helped out with Doc Day. All our kiddos will be safe from splinters another year. That old dog never looked better, and my hands have never looked worse. Thank you for organizing that, Charlotte. Loves. Lots of love. Okay. Um, Who's Ducky? Hand superglued to taxidermity and animal. Help! <laughs> That's a nice face. Ducky, did you mean to type this into Google? What? You need to be typing in Google if you want the answers right away. Where's that? How about just come over with some nail polish remover? It'll be easier for both of us. Uh, birding Society. We are proud to announce this year's birding competition. The Haven Spring Birds Off begins this weekend. Official sighting lists will be available on our website Saturday at midnight. Good luck, birders. Do we get bonus points for multiple sightings of the same species like last year? You need more than that to beat me. Sleep with one eye open, Lucan. Lucan? Can. So you can spot more birds. Exciting. All right, we got that. See what Gabe's got this eye. I want to wish a huge happy birthday to Haven's one and only nerdy bird looking, uh, bird looking, bird loving. Looks great with that beard, Park Ranger Ryan Lucan. The world's become a better place when he was born 47 years ago. Happy birthday, bro. Thanks, Gabe. A little off for the age, though. Don't be mean, Gabe. You only turned 47 once. <laughs> uh, 24. Is that in dog years or dead? <laughs> you guys do this bit every year. Uh, does it ever get old? Not as old as you. Dad! Who is this Josh Hopkins? All right. Parkour lessons. Does anyone know where I could take Ethan for parkour lessons? He picked it up from his dad in Arizona, and ever since, he's been jumping off walls. Literally. I know there's peak parkour in Golden, but that's quite a trek. Any suggestion helps. Full flow, f full flow parkour in Grand Junction. Good find. Told you it'd come through. And here is the address for St. Remus Hospital in Grand Junction, just in case. Oh, dang. Flowers. Leith Flowers is celebrating its 30th anniversary of serving the Haven community on Saturday. Come by for some lemonade and cake. Congrats, Nana. Couldn't have made it the last few years without you. Congrats yourself. Can't wait. Congratulations. Here's to many more. Damn it, reading everything on social media. Huge thanks. Huge thank you to Ty 
Typhon Mining for donating two brand new King uh, Road King law enforcement motorcycles to the force will be able to patrol the roads faster and more safely than ever. Your community is our community. Community, let's keep it safe. Makes me miss my riding days. You can arrest me on one of those anytime. If anyone needs computer help, hit me up. I'm pretty good with tech and trying to save up some extra cash in the next couple of weeks. Let me know. Can you teach my mom how to use her email? Sure. Maybe you could come by the shop and take a look at my, our computer. Our payment software has been acting up. Let's find a day. And in one post, she becomes the whole town's IT. <laughs> While, while you're at it, set up my new play box. I'm sure you can manage on your own. Charlotte. Family portraits are open for commission. I can... Oh, it is her. I can work off a photograph or a live pose. Pet portraits and other arts are open as well. Awesome. When can we get you started on one of my two daughters? I have a great photo of them. Uh, ready when you are. Email me the photo and we can talk size and prices. Thanks again for the one you did for Sunny and I uh, and the kids. Made, made for a great Christmas card. How about one of your lovely sculptures? Perhaps a squirrel or a Alpha Dorita Rufa? A what now? It's a kind of rodent commonly called a mountain beaver, which is really a misnomer as they don't build dams, nerd. <laughs> this weekend is your last chance to sign up for Mountain Song. A live action role-playing event in den oh i'm helping organize it it's gonna be rad ethan and i are going so you should too you guys stoked or what i can barely sleep he's not lying my kids might be interested shoot me the link you got it i i i want to join the latest issue of legendary monster hunter thanor is finished Way to go! How many can I have for the store? I'll take him in to get copies made this weekend. Yes! Ready to be Thigh Nor for real in the LARP next week. Totally. It's gonna be legendary. How many more texts are there? Reminder Town Hall will be fielding any s a question you may have regarding Typhoon Mining, opening a second, uh, second open pit mine. If there's anything you want to know, leave a comment. What kind of impact would the second mine have on the environment? Thanks for that question, Eleanor. We'll be sure to address that. I'll be happy to address that as well, but I doubt Typhoon would like my answer. Will this lead to more traffic through town? My kids walk home from school and the, all these tall trucks makes me nervous. Second that. Thanks for voicing this concern. I'll make sure we talk about it. They're creating a bunch of new jobs, right? Do they know how many yet? I'll find out. I'm not so sure about that. My sister Alex is finally getting into town tomorrow, so I expect everyone to be on their least, on their least worst behavior. I'll be adding her to uh, my block as soon as she gets in. Everyone say welcome. So exciting! I could barely handle one chen. No way. Tomorrow, happy for ya. I'll buy you a beer tonight to celebrate. Reminder to all Haven residents that Typh Typhon Mining will be setting off charges tonight at 9 p.m. Please ensure designated danger zones are clear. Oh no, we're gonna have um, we're gonna go have to find Ryan, no Ethan, don't we? The, the, right? Because he ran off, kind of. Call our 24-hour safety line with any questions of concerns. This poster has disabled replies. I can see why Gabe fits in so well here. Oh, free drinks tonight at the Black Lantern to celebrate my sister's arrival. What the hell's wrong with you, kid? There are certainly... There most certainly are not. <laughs> it's too late. It's already been posted on the internet. Get in lit for free. Just try it. Can confirm. Alex is great. Can't confirm how she turned out so well and you turned out so... You. It's a nature nurture thing. <laughs> All right, I actually finished all of that. Let's check. Can we check other things? Do you have other things? No, my phone. I'm a little bit glad that... Oh, wait. Oh, I do have SMS, though. Do I want to check this out? You know what? I'm going to check this out. For the rest of this episode. All right. 
because we need to find out what's happening. We have to snoop around. Hey, is this still your number? Oh my god, Alex. Hey, Marie. So good to hear from you. How are you? I'm okay. Sorry to ask, but do you have a place I could crash? My amazing decision-making ability has got me into some trouble. Yes, of course. Our apartment has a couch with your name on it. I'll call you in a few. Thank you so much. I'll pay you back with tender love and affection. Lol. Merry Christmas, Alex. That is a month later. Hope you are someplace warm. Hey, Mari. Yeah, I'm totally smoking. Merry Christmas. Did you ever f figure things out with Miss Stevens? No, she's a bitch. I ended up back in a group project and in the group home after that. Oh, con. I'm so sorry, Alex. You deserve better. All good. I already added her to my won't be sad if murdered list. Hey, Mari. I brought the latest PTC vinyl. We'll trade it away for a few more nights on your couch. Hey. Lol. Sure thing. I'm home right now. Thanks. I promise I won't make this a habit. I got you, girl. And then this is another couple of months afterwards. Uh, yeah, I think so. Haven't heard from you in forever. Hey. Uh, sorry, I missed this. This year's been crazy. But managing you, one day at a time. I met a pretty nice guy at work. We've gone out a few times. Cool. Tell him not to fuck it up. Laughs. Huh. Hey, I'm in your neck of woods. Want to get a drink? Hola, chica. Already started. Let's go. I should have got a table at Auntie's for once. Come by. Sick right there. Uh, hey, Mario, I'm really sorry, but can I crash again? I decided I need a break from the hellhole known as Helping Hands. Alex, I'm so sorry, but I have a few friends staying with me right now, so I can. Maybe in a week or two. No worries. I'll figure something out. Have a good night. You too. Uh, good luck and be safe. Hey, you okay? You left the bar pretty quickly last night. This is... This is... This is a year later. Isn't it? Wait, let's see. Uh, yeah, this is in March. Yeah, this is almost one year after. Hey, Mario, you there? Mario, don't be coy. I've seen you naked. What? Mario, please text me if you get this. I was joking about that stuff I said last week. There's nothing weird about me. Expect... Ex expect that one birthmark. I was drunk. I, I was just joking. Mari, please, I need you. Of all people, do not treat me like a freak. Please. Oh. That's her best friend. And then something happened. Hey, Alex. It's Isaac from the record store. Thanks for schooling me on uh, Rihanna Lilac. Her first album's great. It was really nice meeting you yesterday. You must have the wrong number. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just kidding, dude. It's Alex. Lol. Jesus, I was so bummed out for a second. Why would you do that to me? Sorry, it was nice meeting you too. Would love to take you out for coffee sometime. You owe me one for that cruel and unusual joke. Ha, huh, maybe next weekend? Great, I'll ping you Saturday. Have a happy Halloween. Hey Alex, are you free tonight for a drink? I know a spot downtown that serves literally the perfect sangria. Hey Isaac, sorry for the delay. I can't do drinks, but maybe coffee after lunch? Uh, you can try to redeem your musical taste. Challenge accepted. Have you been to the Silver Kettle on uh, Southwest Washington? Not yet, 3 p.m. See you there. I had a great time, Alex, despite your questionable choice in beverage. There's nothing wrong with hot chocolate. Hi, Alex. Are you free for drinks tonight? I'm craving another lesson on Portland singer-songwriters. Prepare for an education. Call me after lunch. You got it. Hey, beautiful. Interested in a cocktail tonight or just tons of popcorn and a movie? Why not both? Now we're talking. Let's start for the cocktail. You free at 8-ish? Sure. Very belated, but Happy New Year. Sorry, I've been out of touch, just busy with my program. Happy New Year, don't worry about it. Can I take you out tonight? How about full-on dinner with wine and bread and, like, actual dinner? Actual dinner sounds great. Thanks, Isaac. I'll get glammed up a bit. It's about time. You need to step up your glam game. Hey, you haven't seen me at roll-out-of-bed-level glam. <laughs> Maybe I'll see that tomorrow morning. Oh, easy there, trigger. Trigger. Uh, hey, Isaac, you're around. Hey, Alex, how goes it? Do you think I can crash at your place tonight? That foster care life is catching up with me. I think that's the same day. Of course, I'll get the wine out. Thank you so much. Uh, I don't really need the wine. I'm actually pretty beat. I'll take you out just in case. Call me when you're downstairs. Alex, last night was incredible. I'm really glad you came over. Everything okay? Oh, dang. Hmm. Mm, I'm not very comfortable with this. 
Alex, last night was incredible. I'm really glad you came over. Everything okay? Hey, yeah, we just moved a little fast last night. Can we hold off on sex for a while? What's wrong? I thought you were having a good time. I just wasn't in the right mindset. Sorry to hear that. You were giving me all the right signals and I thought you were interested. Hey, Alex, want to get a drink? Alex, you awake? Let me know when you get these. Alex, can you get a drink? I'm buying. Alex. Hey, Isaac. Alex Chen, long time no see. I know, right? Listen, I need a place to crash again. Can I bribe you with free beer? You have something that's way better than beer and you know it. I just need a place to sleep. And that's what I got. And then some. Just come over. This caller has been blocked. You will no longer receive message from this their number. Good. Freaking good. I don't like Isaac. Sounds like a predator. I don't like him. Gene. Hey, is this Gene? That cosmic Charlie to you, friend. To whom am I speaking? Alex, Stacy gave me a number. Are you still selling? Only to those who truly know how to surrender to the flow. Uh, yeah, never mind. <laughs> Who's Bridget? Don't fucking think you belong in our family, bitch. Whoa, okay then. Is this Bridget? You're not gonna stay here. Go back to where you came from. I wonder what your parents will think about this behavior. They won't believe you. You're texting me, genius. I have written record. Fuck you. <laughs> That's... Oh. Foster care problems, I guess. Damn. Are they really that nasty? Alex, we have a session scheduled in my office. Are you going to make it? Alex. Punctual attendance is scheduled session with your assigned counselor or a precondition of your residence at Helping Hands. Alex, let's call this uh, strike one. Sorry, lost track of time. Per our session yesterday, to pilot by, uh, to pilot the self by uh, Dr. Levy Hopner. Right, thanks. I hope you find it helpful. Just checking in. How are you feeling after everything? Is Heather okay? She's upset, which I think you'll agree is understandable, but she's not hurt. I'm so sorry. Alex, where are you? Your things are gone. Who are you with? Alex, please get in touch with me. No one knows where you are. Alex, I realize you're in an emotionally vulnerable position right now. I'd like to speak to you before I leave for tonight. Are you settled in? Yes. May I stop by your room briefly? Yes. Good luck in this new chapter of your life. Please know that I'm here for you if you need me. This caller has been blocked. You will no longer receive messages from their number. Hello! All right. Um... We got that out of the way. Now let's... Who's Chelsea? Okay. Gabe. Alex? Who's this? Holy shit, Alex Chen. Sorry, who is this? It's Gabe. Is this some kind of joke? No, you dork. Call me right now. Hey, it's so rad. Catching up yesterday. Chat again later. Yeah, sure. Um... Oh. Okay. So it seems like... It seems like... Um... So they were separated with the, like, the whole foster care thing. And then Gabe found her... Pretty recently, pretty recently in like 2019, and like the whole deal with like uh, Isaac and stuff was in like 2018. So and now that's why she moved here. And is this some kind of sick joke? Don't oh, talk Yeah, okay. Hey, how was your weekend? It's like two days afterwards. Hey, how's your weekend? Pretty good. Charlie and I uh, took Ethan hiking. Tons of fun. HBU. Finally listen to the Paint Thinner Coffee album. They're killing it. PTC Rips. Ever seen them live? Not yet. Definitely will when I get the chance. Hey, how are things? Uh, this is like another two weeks. Uh, Alex, sorry. I haven't text things or biz crazy busy. How are you? Things are weird right now dealing with it. Do you need help? No, I'm okay, thanks. Alien, would you ever... Alien, would you ever want to live in haven duck duck not alien you're not an alien you're ali autocorrect lol this phone is an idiot Ali, you awake <laughs> lol hey buddy have you been drinking no this is my natural state answer the question go to bed oh fuck i drunk texted you seriously though uh for the wreck for wow Abbreviations. For the record, offer stands. Hey, Haven's cool. Hey, what's up? Haven't heard from you in a few days. Are you alright? Yeah, it, yeah. 
She took a while to think about it. Are you all right? Alex, please call me when you get this. How are you holding up? Oh, it's okay. I'm okay. It's been shitty here, but we've been, but we've been through worse. Let me know if you need anything. Uh, will do. I can't believe you're coming. Yes. Uh, me neither. Thanks for sending the ticket. You're a lifesaver. Of course. We're so excited to have you here. Tomorrow is the big day. You need anything? No, I'm good. I don't have much to carry, you know? All right. Hey, I'm over an hour away. Can't wait. I'm ready for you. Bus just pulled in. Yay, on my way. So excited. World's okayest boyfriend. Oh, you were right on sunflowers. Feels like I'll get used to saying that with you. I won't get used to hearing it. By the way, I invited you to our neighborhood on my blog. Check it out when you have a second. Cool, thanks. We're almost done, guys. Just hang in there. Last person. And then we're going to read the journal. I'm sorry there was a lot of reading today. Hey, Alex, it's Chelsea. Thank you so much for your help with Hardy last night. My jaw is still sore, but I could have been way worse if you didn't step in. This is in uh, 2017. Something happened. Hey, Chelsea, I'm glad you're okay. Harley is awful. Don't worry. Every girl is bad in foster care. Text me if you need me, okay? Thanks to... Oh, my God. Thank you. I didn't think I was going to get any birthday gifts. That necklace is beautiful. Happy birthday. Don't be thankful. I bought it at a pawn shop. Hey, orphans can't be picky, right? Truth. Uh, when is this? This is like a couple months later. Hey, Alex, sorry to bother you. Do you have any spare pads? I'm having a situation there. No bother. Check the drawers on my nightstand. I think I stashed some in there. You remain my hero. Thank you. All right. And then this is a couple of months later. Chelsea, I have something important to tell you and didn't want to wait. At the end of the month, I'm going to move to Colorado and live with my brother. Leaving you was literally, oh, the literal only downside to this plan. I'm really sorry. Just know that I'm always a phone call or text away, okay? Congrats! Don't be sorry. I'm so happy for you. Can we talk more this weekend? I want to hear all about it. Sounds good. Good luck today. I'll miss you. I'll miss you. Don't let anyone push you around, okay? You're rad as hell. Life has been hard these past few years, but I'm really glad we met. Me too. Aw. All right. Now that is done. Now we're here for the journal. Yeah, I think there's only two pages, though. Okay. There's only two pages, guys. It's not that bad. Tessa, with anger. Bitter and jealous and a little queasy. That's what the anger tasted like. Didn't even have time to step back. Seconds later, I was rushing across the room. What a mess. I split her lips open, poor thing. I wonder how long it'll take to heal. It's hard to clean blood off your clothes. Makes you feel wrong. I don't really blame her for being upset. She thinks I get special treatment at the home, but I don't. Doesn't matter now. She keeps to herself. Most of the other kids do, actually. So that'll be uh, so that'll be business as usual until a new group comes in and this starts all over again. The worst part? They confiscated my fucking guitar. Two week ban. At least I get it back. I promise, I promise it's not what you say. No favors, no secret, none coming my way. And after all this, you still have to pay. Can't sing for shit. I'm not gonna try. Isabel I these are her these are the colors, right? These are the colors of her feelings. So red is for anger. Blue is for anguish. Isabel anguish. I tried to write this so many times and they all ended up in the trash. Let's see how far I can get. I really like Isabel. She was sweet and loved to paint and snuggled in a few bears. Smuggled. <laughs> Sorry, snuggled. <laughs> Smuggled in a few beers for us on weekends, but her depression was brutal. It crept under my fingernails and made my eyelids feel like stone. And I had to focus just to keep breathing, like dripping a ribcage in lead. It was hard to get away from. Eventually, it got too much. Two bottles of sedative lying in vomit, her eyes open and glassy and afraid. I'm sorry, Isabel. I thought we could have stayed friends when we finally got out of this vanilla-flavored holding pen. I wish you could have stuck around for a little longer. If I ever see you again, I'll bring the beer. We are done with all the reading. <laughs>